In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating a location profile used to export backups created with Kasten to an external AWS S3 bucket. I'm also going to configure immutability to ensure that my exported backups are protected against modification and deletion by either ransomware or bad actors. I'll start off in my S3 console and first create the bucket that I'm going to use to store my backup data. As I want my backups to be immutable, I'll enable both object versioning and S3 object lock. And now that my bucket has been created, I need to specify how long objects should remain immutable. This figure should be equal to how far into the past you want Kasten to be able to access unaltered backup data, plus an additional 20 days. In my case, if I need to ensure my last seven days of backups are immutable, I'll specify 27 days. Next, I need to create an IAM policy that will grant access to my bucket. The Kasten documentation provides a least permission example policy, including the additional action permissions I'll require for enabling immutability. I've pasted in the example policy and just need to edit the resource array so it includes my bucket and all of its subdirectories. To complete my policy, I'll provide a name and click Create. Next, I'll create the IAM user account, which I'll call Kasten-S3-SA for service account, and we'll leave management console access disabled. For this example, I'll directly attach my previously created policy rather than use a group-based assignment. Last, I need to generate the access key in secret, which will be used by Kasten to authenticate. Once I've downloaded my key pair, I'm ready to configure my location profile. Returning to cast and settings, I'll click new profile, provide a name, and select Amazon S3 from the available storage options. Next, I'll paste in my access key and secret I generated in the previous step. Next, I'll provide the AWS region and name of my bucket, Finally, I'll select Enable Immutable Backups and click Validate. Once it's been confirmed that my bucket meets the requirements, I'm now able to select how far back I want to be able to restore immutable backups, which as expected is going to max out at seven days based on our configured 27 days of retention for our bucket. Note that you can still have retention periods that exceed this value, but immutability will only be enforced until the end of the cast and protection period. And that's it. We see indications that our profile is valid, and now I'm ready to start creating policies capable of producing immutable off-cluster copies of my backup data. Thanks for watching.